Welcome to another edition of Avery Dennis and Reflective Tips and Tricks Traffic Jet 101. Today we're going to walk through the setup menu. So simply hit menu, you'll see it now gives you the option for setup. So we'll start going into the sub menus. So you'll see each of the settings has a number. So setting one, setting two, so forth and so on. So setting one is user type. And this is where you'll go to set up your different media types. We actually have a separate video that goes into this process in detail. Setting two is spitting. So this gives you the option to simply turn on, on media or off. When you leave it on, it uses the, the spittoon pad built into the printer to, to pre-spit out a small bit of ink just to minimize any sort of bleed onto the sheeting, any sort of blockage of nozzles. So you want to leave this on at all times. Setting three is side margin. This allows you to, to essentially tell it how close to the edge you want it to print. The, the minimum it's ever going to let you put in is five millimeters. So for, for all cases, for all printers we've installed, we've left this at five millimeters so it prints as close to the edge as possible. But the five millimeters there is to allow for some skew because the media may not feed out exactly straight. Setting four is media initial. This is essentially telling it what to do when you first load a new roll. So right now you can see it's set to width or you can turn it to off. So just leave it set to width. That way it'll automatically sense what the width of the roll is. It'll give you what that width is so it makes it easy to just plug it simply into the software. Setting five is the media width. So if you decide to turn off the media initial, you can input your media width here manually. But in all honesty, I would just leave setting four to on, so your media initial, so that it does it for you automatically. It just minimizes any error. Setting six, you can skip. Setting seven, you also can skip because this deals with the, the crosscut function, which we're not going to use due to the thickness of the material. Setting eight is the origin. So this is actually controlled by the software. So this would actually let you move the, the print head so it's printing at a certain part to start off with rather than starting at the edge. But this is all controlled by the software, so I wouldn't worry about using the submenu for that. Setting nine is prevent stick. So what you want it to do, right now it's set to off. And what this does is as the media sits, you've got heaters on here that are gonna make the media a little warmer. And you've got a chance of something starting to build a little heat, get a little tacky, and stick. So what this does, before it starts printing, it's gonna move the media back and forth just to, to break away anything so you don't have any binding as it starts to print. Setting 10, this is important. So this is standby heating. So essentially, as it's in standby, so between print jobs, how long do you want it to maintain heat? And what this really does is minimize your downtime. So if you can keep the heat up for a longer period of time between jobs, it prevents you having to wait for it to heat up again. So I recommend leaving it set to 60 minutes, which is the maximum you can do. That way, if you're in between jobs, but you're still working, it's gonna maintain that heat, so you're not having to wait the five minutes for it to, to warm back up. Setting 11 is head travel. This is controlled by the presets in the RIP software. So you don't worry about messing with anything in the submenu. Same with setting 12, multi-strike. This is telling you essentially how many passes do you want it to, to do to, to print your color. Anywhere from one to nine. But this is all controlled by the presets. Same with strike weight, which is between print passes, do you want it to, to pause and give you a one second stop between print passes if you need to essentially add additional drying time. Set 14 is slant check. So this is just a safety you can, you can turn on or off that will tell you whether your media is starting to, to skew as it feeds. So if it feeds outside or slants outside of your five millimeter your edge tolerance, it'll stop and won't print any further. It just helps to minimize any possible scrap. So I would recommend leaving that on at all times. Set 15 is also one of the critical ones. This is auto cleaning. 
Within the menu, you've got three options. You have waiting time, printing time, and before print. Waiting time is where you would program in your, your daily clean. So we have this set to 1440 minutes. So this is once a day. So every 24 hours, it's going to go through and do its auto clean, where it spits out a small bit of ink just to make sure the print head is, is clean, nothing's drying up in the, the nozzles, and you're, you're good to go. Printing time is based on your actual runs. So as you're doing long runs, you want to keep the printhead refreshed so you don't have buildup on the surface. So you can see right here we have it set to 45 minutes. Um, that's my recommendation. That seems to be the, the sweet spot to make sure the printhead always stays clean, always printing consistently within long runs. And last is before print. This gives you the option for on or off. I recommend leaving this off, otherwise it's going to do a clean cycle before every single file you print, which is a little excessive in my mind. Setting 16 is ink status, which is actually turned off at the moment on the printer, so we can skip that. Set 17 is roll length, which gives you the option to actually program in your roll length so you can get an idea what the counter is, what's left on the roll itself. Set 18 is the exhaust fan. On the back side of the print enclosure, there's a small fan. And you can set it to low or high or off. Leave it set to low. Really no, no reason to adjust this. Set 19 is long store. So this is what you'll do if you need to shut down the printer. So if you're gonna go more than seven days without printing, you need to use the long store function. And what this will, this will give you prompts to Remove all your inks, it will drain the system completely. It'll then prompt you to put in your cleaning cartridges so that it can now start flushing out the system. It'll have you remove those cleaning cartridges so it can drain. And then it'll do one more flush cycle where it'll have you put the flush back in and drain one last time to make sure everything is completely clean. When it's done, you can turn the printer off and let it sit until you're ready to run production again, which at that time you'll have to go through and do an ink charge. Setting 20 is CR maintenance. We go into this a little more detail in the traffic jet maintenance video, where this allows you to shift the printhead from the right side of the machine all the way to the left so that you can access your maintenance station and wiper, and then also clean around the printhead itself. Set 21 is where you tell it what to do when the printer turns on. So right now it's set to all. You can have it ask what media do you have in, so your user type. So right now we have it set to all, so that it will give you every choice under the sun, every media that you have loaded on the system, it'll let you select from when you load the system. And 22 is lifetimes. This is gonna be used for any sort of diagnosis or technical issues where we can go through and see what the, the life cycle has been for all the different components, from the heads, the pumps, the motors, so forth and so on. Set, setting 23 through 25 is all of your, your network connections, so your IP address, your subnet, your gateway, and these are all set during your initial installation where we get it connected onto your network. Setting 26, we do not have to worry about. Setting 27 is something we use in diagnostic mode only. So if we see an issue with one head, oh, since this does have two print heads on the printer, we can shut down individual heads and see if we see a difference in print quality. Setting 28 we can skip. Same with 29 and 30.